Hello everybody, Hossboss here, and today something came in the mail that I was really not expecting it come into the mail today, but in light of how I just found out that one of my classes ended up, oh, opening this is going to be fantastic. Fallout 4, limited edition, Loot Crate. I forgot I freaking ordered <laughs> I didn't forget it. It's just that I ordered it so long ago that I'm surprised I came in today of all days. So let's get to open. This thing is massive, by the way. Look at this. I'm not. It's huge. It's massive. Oh, my goodness. I need some of the stuff out of the way. Time. Time to make some room. You're going over here for now. Other guys, you stay over there. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Where where do I even begin with this? Okay, I'm, I'm turning it this way so you guys can't see anything before I do. Because if you guys see something before I do, that's just rude and inconsiderate. Let's get it on. There we go. Broke the sail. And on to the inner findings of the box. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was worried it wasn't. Okay. Jesus. Saints help us. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. This. It is a Vault 111 jacket. Oh, goodness gracious. Give me a second. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm the lone survivor now. Okay, this is great. I actually like it a lot. It fits nice. It came in large. I like it. It's nice and cozy. I'm keeping this on. I'm going to suffer through the heat just because I love this jacket. And it's so cozy. Oh, goodness. And I was going to say something else. Now, I didn't think I'd be able to rock the baby blue, but I'm rocking this baby blue. Okay, next side. <laughs> I'm just so giddy right now. Okay. Oh, 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 I've been needing this. Is a Fallout 4 coaster. Let's let's bust one of these bad boys out here. Let's see how many coasters do I get with this? Get your bitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the jacket is licensed Bethesda items. I think this is all actually part of Bethesda. And let's see these coasters. Alright, so it is a set of... Oh, they're foam coasters. It's a set of four coasters. And... The four we get are... Oh! We get... The classic... Bolt Boy! The 111, which could just camo right here. Just... Just right there. Never notice. Never know, and I always have the coaster on me. Um, <laughs> the, is that a defect on? I really hope not. Somebody. The Rocket Girl, I think, is what she is. Dang it, I really need to fix the autofocus on this thing. And of course, the always uh, politically correct Fault Tech coaster. See, that's the one where you give them the trapped um, coaster. It's like, oh, that's a special drink, buddy. We're going to see how these hallucinogenic things make you act in just a hot second. What? Nothing. I said nothing. We said nothing about how we're going to use this to test you. What? Enjoy your stay in the vault. Toodles! Okay. I'm going to leave that there for now. Get that over there. Get, get over there! Stay! Stay over there. Okay. Next item. Okay. Ah! Meat. Oh, and he has been dead. He has an eye patch. No, he has a dog. Oh, wait. We need We need to get him out of there. Dog meat. Are you okay? Can you breathe? Dog meat. No, I'll save you. Dog meat. No. I'll save you, dog meat. Come on. Don't worry. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. You got You got air now. No, you've probably been in there for weeks, but. Oh, come on. Well, let's see. Now he's all just flustered. His goggles aren't on right. You gotta fix them. No, not fit. We're not gonna fix you that way, boy. Don't worry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that to you. We need your children. Okay. We need to fix his goggles, though. They're all over the place. Dog me. Oh, wait. Dog me. And now his 
His goggles are good. His ears are a little bit... Okay, there. Dog meat! Yes, I love it. And he's so nice and soft. And he's like a good-sized plush of him, too. Oh, my goodness. It's great. I love him. Dog meat is one of my favorite companions. Now, where can I put him? I'm going to put him right... right. This box is just so big, it's in the way of everything! <laughs> Let's see, what... What's this? Oh, it's it's a poster? Another poster? Yay. Now, let's get this bad boy out here. Is it two posters? Oh, it's two posters. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's Nuka-Cola Girl. So, one of them's Nuka-Cola Girl. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, no, no, don't, don't you dare. Don't you fight me on this. And the other one is... Oh, wait, this is a landscape one. The... I want to say this is a Red Rocket Inn one. Because Red Rocket Inn is the one that's most like that. Especially since that one I left that workshop intact. Because I like that workshop. Um, okay, so that's the posters in it, which are pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like them. Jeez. See, the good thing is I recently bought the putty for my walls. So I can put them up and not have to worry about possibly, like, messing them up when I take them down one day. Because I don't want to, like, frame them or anything. Although, maybe I should. If you guys want, let me know in the comments below if uh, laminating and then, f like, putting up a poster is preferred or what's the best way of preserving a poster past, like, the initial thing, because honestly, I never really had posters in the past, so give me your suggestions. I want to be able to keep my posters. <laughs> um, okay, next item. What's this? What is this? What? What is this? Oh, this looks like it's... Oh, oh. hold on. But it's a flag for the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just all kinds of... <laughs> I need to find some place to put this! This needs to be in here! Screen, I love that flag, but I need to find somewhere to put it now, because it'd be kind of weird if I hang that outside of my door, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And then, what's this? Collector pin sets. Is it a Brotherhood of Steel collector pin? Oh no, it's several pins! Awesome. So it's one, hey, hey, calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. It's a uh, Bolt 111, Fallout Boy. Um, is that red? Yeah, it's a Red Rocket uh, gas station one and a Brotherhood of Steel pin. Great, fantastic. I love the Brotherhood of Steel. They're one of my favorite factions, regardless of how many people they want to curl. Hmm. And then... I think this is the yeah this is the last item and it's a messenger sling of Vault 111. Great, fantastic. Works great with the sweater. Like it. I'll have to give feedback on exactly. Er, is it? Yeah. This will work great when I'm doing my online school stuff. Yeah, doing mostly online classes this time around. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be good. It's better than the one I currently have, so. We'll see how that goes. And let me just rummage around to see if there's something I might have missed. Awesome, 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 awesome. I'm very pleased with everything in this loot crate. So now, let's flip this sucker inside out. And for this, it is the Nuka-Cola um, vending machine from the game, which is amazing. I like it. I like it. That's very clever how they did that. It even has like the crack screen and everything like it is in the game. This is the back of it, obviously, and it works very well. Okay. Awesome. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you liked, please give a like in the bottom below, or, you know, just, just click on Dog Me. 
Click on dog me. You know you love. Look at that little doggy face. He's adorable. He loves this loot crate. He came in it. You guys should. You guys should click too, cause dog meat. But yeah, click like. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And you know what? Question of the day: When it comes to sweaters or hoodies, what do you prefer? A zip up or? Do you prefer just a pull over hoodie? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. I hate it when they don't have it like.